bitch, I pull off in that Chevy while I'm lighting up that heavy. Bentley got me soaking up the game. These sucking niggas always envy. Coming up the cemetery, ghosts are serving up all these hoes. Push my way to stand on my toes. I'm living my life the way this shit goes. Take a second. Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome yourself back to another part of my Persona 5 series. So last time, people, we got into contact with a mysterious character known as Alibaba, and that shit was weird. They apparently seemingly hacked into our phone. I could be wrong, of course. Maybe they didn't actually hack into our phone. Maybe they did. I don't fucking know. Regardless, can't do shit. We, we, gotta, we gotta go sleep. We gotta go Betty bye. We don't have nearly enough intel. All we can do is wait for them to make a move. Just fucking sleep. What else are we supposed to do, you know? Like, we, we literally can't fucking do anything. But your 10k... It's fucking... I was about to read that. Thank you, game. Just like Akechi said. Fuck off! Akechi can... Go fuck himself. I don't fucking like Akechi. <laughs> Just may as well start off the episode with a nice friendly reminder that I don't like Akechi, you know? Did y'all know that? Well, if you didn't before, now you do. Anyway. Why haven't the Phantom Thieves said anything? Having your money stolen sounds terrifying. It's unsettling not knowing uh, what they're going to do to us. They're declaring their victory? What does that mean? I really wish they'd stop that. Oh boy. We need to do something and we need to fucking do it fast because... I don't know, things aren't going very well for us to say the least. Hey, your phone's buzzing. Oh fuck, it's fucking Alibaba, isn't it? God damn it, Ryuji! <laughs> you fucking made me think it was. Ah, fuck. Did Alibaba message you? Come on. It's just Ryuji. Nothing. Let us know ASAP if he tries to get in con or in touch with you, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. God damn it, Ryuji. And here I was thinking we finally had something, but nope. Oh, wait. Ryuji again? He just never shuts up, does he? Wait, is it? Ah, uh, there we go. Good day. Um... Good day to you, too. Ah, you responded today. Once again, I am Alibaba. You're the leader of the Phantom Thieves, correct? <sighs> Fucking whatever, that's right. Hmm, I appreciate your honesty. I take it you received the calling card? So it really was from this guy. Are you at school right now? Uh, yes, I'm in class. Hmm, you're a surprisingly diligent student. Now then, I've prepared the calling card for you. When are you going to steal it? Steal from who? What do you mean by that? Aren't you able to steal a heart as long as you have a calling card? Hey, hey. Tell him. We need the name of the target. Um, I need a name, so... A name? Is your heart three or is your heart thievery truly impossible without such information? It is. I see. Hmm, I suppose past call- or, yeah, pa past calling cards that did have names on them. One moment. Very well, I'll tell you. I believe their name was Futaba Sakura. If you fail this mission, I will expose your identity to the world and to the police. Well then, I'll be speaking on you, or I'll be counting on you. I don't- I keep messing up these fucking words! I'll be counting on you. We shall speak again after the change of heart. Wait, who, who is- Fuck's sake! For real? So he threatened- so he threatened you, then just took off? Sakura, I feel like I've heard that name before. In any case, we should let everyone know about this. Sakura, Sakura, Sakura. I mean, I know that character, but... Sakura, 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 where, where the fuck have we heard that before? We're gonna get reported if we don't do this. Yep. <laughs> oh, Ryuji's pissed. Wait, what? Does he have any family? Wait, what? Does he? For 
For reals? How laid back are you? Wouldn't you normally be introduced at least? I mean, you are living at his place. Does he have... What? <laughs> I'm actually, like, confused. Well, his situation what? does make things difficult. Alright, what? Fucking... We'll, we'll figure it out, I guess. The calling card was delivered to Boss's house. It'd be more natural to assume this is all related. One of the reasons for that is because Alibaba mentioned nothing about which Futaba Sakura. Perhaps he thinks that the name alone is enough. That makes sense. I believe it's adequate for us to think that this is the doing of someone close by. Hmm. I see. Who the fuck close? Huh. I don't know how Alibaba Wait. got hold of his smartphone information. I have an idea. But sadly, my idea won't be confirmed until we complete the fucking palace. However, since he's ordering us through so I'm gonna... <sighs> he's taunting us. I'm gonna have to keep my theory in mind until we fucking complete the palace. So sadly, you guys won't know what the fuck I'll be talking about until we actually finish the palace. So... Sorry. You'll find out, I would say soon enough, but it will be a while. Look at his demands. Pay me if you don't want me to leak who you really are. That I'd understand. But he's telling us to steal someone's heart without explaining why. Hmm. Okay, that is a fair so point. We're being tested. Regardless, I think we should ask boss about Futaba Sakura once. Oh dear. That's probably for the best. You guys sure it's the best idea to ask him, though? I mean, he hasn't mentioned that at all, so, like, I don't know. I'll check the school's roster just in case. We must make sure boss doesn't figure out who we are. We'll have to go about this cautiously. It's gonna be a little difficult to do that, but whatever. What well, fucking whatever, I guess. We'll see. Oh boy, I feel like this is gonna go south very soon, but whatever. Oh god, this is. Oh no, both of these are bad! <laughs> Why? Uh. Ah, uh, this is. This is. This is actually the worst selection of answers ever! What the fuck? <laughs> I'm gonna say. Uh, I'm gonna say who's Futaba Sakura. Why did you know about that? Uh, <laughs> abort, abort. Hmm. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with you. O okay. I'm going home. Make sure you lock up the place. Oh. We did a no no. Looks like it's a hit. What did we fucking do? Oh dear. Oh, I just remembered! George, were you able to ask a uh, boss about Futaba Sakura? I tried. So no results? Could there be a reason as to why that was? Hmm... Alibaba might be our only hope of defeating Medjed. I wish we... Uh, I wish we could get some info about Futaba out of boss. You guys could just say Sojiro, but I mean, whatever. But trying to force it would have- or would probably have the opposite effect. To be honest, I have a great deal to both boss and- WHY DO THEY CALL A BOSS?! THEY COULD JUST SAY Sojiro! I don't wish for this to be a source of discord between them. Yeah, I know just what you mean! It'd probably be best to wait for boss to bring the subject up himself. <sighs> I guess... I mean, yeah, I, that was, those were terrible options. Like, I, I just want to sort of nudge into it very subtly, you know? But the game doesn't really give us that. Anything from you, Morgana? Nah, nothing. Alright. Sleep we sleep we go! Even though I didn't fucking press it. Come on! First there was Medjet, then Alibaba, and now Futaba Sakura. 
Why don't we have inf any info on any of them? What in the world is going on? Uh, <laughs> I love how we don't even respond to Morgana. <laughs> we just, <laughs> we just fucking go to sleep. Like, wow. Oh boy, things are getting quite interesting, quite spicy, in my opinion. Oh man. Yo. Oh, what's going on, Ryuji? Tomorrow's the end of the first semester, but we still got all that, or all this lame shit coming up. If you don't take care of this lame shit, you can kiss your summer vacation goodbye. Oh yeah, about this Futaba Sakura girl. If she's related to Boss, think people living nearby would know about her? Why did we think- Oh, That is a good idea, wow! That's some keen intuition coming from you, Ryuji. You should have made use of that on your exams. Ugh, I never want to think about exams ever again. Anyways, or anyway, asking around in your neighborhood uh, might be the fastest way to figure this shit out. Then again, I doubt it'll be that easy. It never is. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is gonna be fucking wonderful. Ugh. Summer vacation starts the day after tomorrow, but don't forget, there's an urgent assembly on Monday. We'll be taking attendance. There's been an unusual number of strange incidents this year. Don't do anything stupid over break. Got it? Don't go someplace shady like the red light district. And don't go to the beach after dark. I want to go to the beach. I want to jump in some cold water. Seems like we won't be having fun on our, on our summer break for a while. Eh, whatever. Fucking, we're the Phantom Thieves! We gotta do what we gotta do! Justice and all that! Ryuji might be right. We don't have a single clue. Might as well try. We've got nothing to lose. That that almost rhymed. Like Morgana, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, whatever. Let's head to Yon uh, Yongin and gather gather, eh, gather info around the neighborhood. All right. Let's see how this goes. I would assume his neighbors maybe know something, but at the same time, I don't. I don't. I don't know. Uh, you know anything, old man? <gasps> A game console! Fuck! Alright, whatever, Morgana. Fuck you. Alright, you know anything, shopper? Futaba? Who knows? By the way, do you eat a lot? Fuck's sake. Um, hey, I'm a growing boy. <laughs> if it's just between you and me, then you've been eating enough for two, right? You must have quite the appetite. What, you're telling me you don't actually eat that much? Maybe it's Boss who eats a lot, then. Why does everybody call him Boss? I don't get it! Let's have some other pi- I don't fucking- Oh my god, I don't- Whatever. Hello. <clears throat> Futaba? Who's that? I don't think I know anybody by that name. Hmm. But wouldn't this Futaba get angry if they found out you're snooping on them, though? That is a fair point, but we don't know this Futaba. I mean, apparently they know us. Hey, what's going on? Delivery company man. Futaba? Hmm? Nope. Don't know anyone like that. I come to Sakura-san's often to make deliveries, but I've never seen who you're talking about. Wow. There is fucking nobody that knows a damn thing. Let's see. Anything down there? No. I wonder if Sei knows or Tay knows anything. Futaba? No, no, I don't know. I don't know who that could be. Fuck's sake. <laughs> I wonder if we can even visit Tay. Does it give us the option? I would assume not. Nope. <laughs> Come on, you never know. Maybe Tay knows something. Tay's smart. Sorta. Questionable. Futaba Futaba. Yes, I know that name. Heard it somewhere before. It's the name of my very first love. My teacher back when I was in- Oh, fuck's sake. You're, you're no fucking use, old man. Hey, lady. Sakura-san's single, right? 
I thought he didn't have any children. So up until now, our biggest lead seems to be boss buys a lot of food, far more than uh, far more than enough for one person living alone. Okay. Let's check out all the shops where you can buy food. All right. Fucking whatever. That's a tobacco store. That's not food. All right. Anything here for us? All right, buddy boy. Hey there, welcome. Futaba, over at Sakura-san's? I haven't heard anything, sorry. Come again. God damn it. That doesn't look uh, we didn't find anything on Futaba. I think our only option now is to go home and ask the cheat. Ah, <laughs> I don't want to do that. It feels wrong. It feels like an, an invasion of privacy, you know? Like, I don't feel right ask. Oh, God. Hey, say. So you're the one who tipped him off about Futaba. You really shouldn't have done that. I have no intention of talking to you about Wakaba. Huh? Tipped off? What are you talking about? Back to the matter at hand. Huh? <laughs> who the fuck? To be suspended. I take it you're okay with that outcome. What? Considering the state of your daughter and your family overall, there are no points in your favor. The fuck is that? Wait. Would you like to take this to domestic court? Wait. Our chances of victory are roughly 99.9%. Futaba. Daughter? With these suspicions of abuse, there's no way you could avoid having your custody revoked. Is she Sajiro's? You're going that far? I told you. Futaba Sajiro's. What? <laughs> what the fuck? We're extremely serious what? <laughs> like, I'm just piecing this together in my mind right now. Like, wait. As long as there's a possibility that cognitive science can be linked to psychotic breakdowns. The fuck are you? What is going on? Fine. I yield. Thank you. I will contact you at a later date. Wow, say that is a that is an evil smile. <laughs> I doubt you'll find anything you want to hear, though. That's fine. It will be up to us to decide whether the information you give us is useful or not. Oh boy. Next time I come here, it will just be for a nice cup of coffee. Say I don't. Your smile is evil as fuck. I just realized, Say has really long legs. Jesus Christ. And stay out! <laughs> that uh, woman is real good at pissing people off. Oh, man. What's with that look? You got something to say? Custody? This doesn't involve you. <sighs> I guess. Um, is Futaba your daughter? That's enough. <sighs> I <sighs> just behave yourself. Keep going to school if you don't want me to throw you out of here. Oh, come on. Got that? Fine. Lock the store up. The existence of this Futaba is for certain. She may be in some kind of bad situation, though. More so, our conjecture that Alibaba is connected to LeBlanc seems to have a pretty solid foundation. Oh, and didn't they mention cognitive something? Yeah, I don't know what the fuck that was about, though. Keeps hiding. We can't really press him on the subject, though. Especially after he mentioned throwing you out. Yeah. The situation is... It's very, very finicky. We need to be... We need to not, you know, anger Sajiro. Like, like, seriously. What do you think the chief was arguing about with that lady? I wonder. Yeah, I do too. Cause I have not a fucking clue. He mentioned... Wakaba or some shit? Like, like, you can't drop these names without us not knowing anything. I guess maybe we'll find out who the fuck that is sooner or later. I, I don't fucking know, man. We still don't know the name of fucking Mr. Worldwide, you know, Pitbull, you know, it's fucking Mrs. 305, whatever. We still don't know that guy's name, surprisingly, but anyway. I just mentioned that because, like, 
Now, now we have the opposite of that. We have a name without a face. But with Mr. Baldman, we have a face without a name. So it's really, really weird. I don't, I don't know if we'll figure out anything about that, but anyway. Let's, let's just fucking sleep. Let's also not piss off Sejiro some more, because I, I feel bad. You know, it feels like we're just sort of invading his fucking personal space, and I, I, I feel very bad about that. Sejiro's been very respectful towards us, and I feel very wrong doing it like this. A woman was threatening boss? Why does everyone call him boss? Yeah, she was going on about domestic abuse and taking the case to court and stuff. Jesus Christ. <laughs> What's up? <gasps> Wait! Nothing. Oh no! <laughs> so to summarize what you told us, I think she realized it's boss's And he's abusing her? Oh no. I don't know him very well. Is he really the kind of person who would do that? No. There's no way. No, Sajira would never do that. I believe so as well, but we don't have any conclusive evidence, do we? Look, you're right, but Sajira would never do that, right? I would hope not. Oh dear. Is it Alibaba? Presumably. I've given you a calling card and told you the target's name. You should be ready for this. Why aren't you doing it? I told you I'd help you uh, if you stole her heart. What seems to be the holdup? I also said I'd report your identity to the police if you didn't help me. Are you okay with that? I'm serious here. A selfish person. Y yeah. <laughs> well, he does have information on us. Anyways, this Futaba he's talking about have a palace? If so, I need keywords to get in. Should that is fair. Him about him. Um... Tell me her p keywords. Keywords? What are you talking about? Are you just saying random stuff to dodge the issue? What are we supposed to do about this? We'd be able to figure out Alibaba's identity if we could just meet with him. Try asking him if there's any way we could meet up. Let's meet up, s or let's meet somewhere. Meet with me? That will, or that will be difficult. I have reasons for not being able to go out. That's why I'm contacting you like this. You can't go out? Wait, I get it. You steal people's hearts directly. That might make things difficult. Extremely difficult. Hold on, I'm thinking. Okay, it's a shame, but I'm calling this deal off. Stop looking into Futaba Sakura. Forget this ever happened. I won't report you to the police, or to the police either. Don't worry. Sorry for taking your time. Now if you'll excuse me. Wait a second. I said the deal's off! We're never going to speak again. Don't expect me to contact you anymore either. We're not done here. Ah, I guess we are. Huh? Did he just shut the whole operation down? What the fuck? Can Alibaba not go out, but he won't let us meet Futaba either? Well, it's none of our business now. We can't contact him anymore. But what do we do about Medjed? We won't be able to get Alibaba to help us with them now. Maybe they were just pranking us. They made that huge declaration, but they ain't done nothing since. <laughs> I bet we got them freaked out. You mean they backed out because they're afraid we'll change their hearts? Yep, and now it'd just make them look lame if they came out and apologized. But... I guess with Alibaba and Medjet out of the picture, can we just say this case is closed? Not really, no. You do have a point. D no, y he doesn't! I guess it is safe for us to relax a little. It's not! <laughs> what, are, what are you talking about? Remember Kaneshiro's treasure? Prepare to have your minds blown! We got... 150,000 yen out of it. Oh my god, that is actually a lot. That's awesome. We can really go all out with that kind of money. Yeah. Let's make up for what happened at the fireworks festival. Got to go eat something fitting for the Phantom Thieves worldwide debut. Where would be good? Ooh, how about sushi? I could really go for some eel too. Fuck's sake. <laughs> The best method is to fill yourself on ginger before beginning to eat sushi. That is my master technique. You don't need to do that this time. 
Actually, definitely don't do it. Okay? <laughs> I'm all for sushi. You're okay with that too, right? Uh, sushi's fine, yeah. Why not? Then it's decided. All right. We'll go tomorrow night. Suddenly things are back to normal, I guess. I, I don't know. This is... Everything about this is just very confusing and weird. Oh, what now? Oh. I wonder if all that Medjet business was just a prank. Now that I think about it, uh, calmly, it's strange they haven't actually done anything yet. If their goal is to target the Phantom Thieves, they should want to be acting now, given our fame. Huh, when you put it that way, it kind of makes me wonder too. Especially after uh, they taunted us theatrically like that. Yes, uh, however, it would be best for us to come up with a countermeasure regardless. For now, though, we should cautiously enjoy the sushi. That is all we can do. Yeah. <laughs> That's no fun. Hmm, Yusuke's right. I'm sorry for bringing this up on the day before our celebration party, too. Cheer up, Makoto. We'll be eating sushi like kings tomorrow. I hope one person in particular is on their best behavior. I'll refrain from saying who, though. <laughs> Fucking Ryuji. <coughs> Had to clear my throat there, apologies. Good god, the days have just sort of flown by here now, haven't they? Let's call it a day and go to bed. All right, sleep, 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 sleep. I'm not sure what else really awaits us at this point. Because, you know, apparently we still take down Medjet, but, like... How? I just... Oh, I didn't even realize. Now we're on summer vacation or whatever. Or not. Busy, I take it you're stuck in the middle of everything? Oh, boy. The Phantom Thieves made a mockery of us when they brought down Kaneshiro. And to make matters worse, Medjid, who has been dormant for some time now, just declared war on them. How much more can they screw us over? <laughs> Whoops. Stress is bad for the skin, you know. <laughs> come all this way simply to be sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> How about you listen to my deductions for a change of pace? Fuck off, Akechi. You may think it absurd. Look, I don't like to say that much, but here in Sage is fucking <laughs> tell off a catchy is great. Oh shit, my bad. What did he even say? He said but Don't you think the case you are pursuing and the actions of the Phantom Thieves overlap somehow? Huh. Okay. The one point of commonality across all cases is how those involved have an unforeseen change of heart. I've suspected that myself, but those suspicions are unfounded. I told you at the beginning that this was only a deduction. These just phantom thieves are riling up the public. However, that is a disguise. What? Their true goal is terrorist action by way of psychotic breakdowns. Is that too much? Fuck off. There's nothing at the moment that falsifies that claim. Have you mentioned this to the police? I'd never tell them such things. The only value they have to me is in their mobility and organizational capabilities. Hmm. It seems having you lend me a hand has paid off. I'm glad to hear that. What about your case, sai -san? Did you learn anything from the guardian of that mental shutdown victim's daughter? Nothing at all. I see. Hmm. Now, what should my next action be for our victory? Handle the Phantom Thieves without remorse. Oh dear. Use any means necessary to win. That's how I would deal with them. Ah, uh, say I'm not. No. Very well. Why would no? This seems to be fun for you. Are you on to something? No, not at all. Well then, to our victory. I don't like a catchy. Some some seems up with him as well. Like he's got something in mind. That's for certain. Okay. Time for sushi. <laughs> Places in uh, Jinza, right? Why don't we take the... Or do we take the usual train from Shibuya? I don't fucking know. Probably. 
Sorry for the shops cafe are plenty. If you're tired from shopping, get tea. Yeah, 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 whatever. I I was about to say, like, are we going there like directly right now or what? But yeah, we are, okay. Oh boy. <laughs> I love Ryuji's fucking voice actor because they do such a great job at making him sound like he's eating and just loving every second of it. Uh, I don't see any prices listed here. <laughs> it's called market price. Don't worry about it. We got the cash. What does that even mean? What even is Morgana? And don't talk. <laughs> By the way, is Boss really the kind of person who would abuse someone? No, he's not. Okay. I don't think so. I can't get it off my mind. Especially if it means he could be taken to court. What kind of person is he? Do you truly believe he'd do such a thing? No, I don't think he'd ever do something like that. Hmm. If it's really true about the abuse, he'd be a no good jerk pretending to be a guardian. Maybe the chief is the one who needs a change of heart. Don't say that, Morgana. Hold on a sec. About that. I actually got curious after our conversation and checked his name in the nap. Sounds to me like there wasn't a hit. Right. Anything beyond this is his family's problem. We probably shouldn't get any more involved. All right, I guess. Wait, you think Alibaba could be Boss's ex-wife? Huh? He must have cheated on her, and that's where Futaba came from. Huh? <laughs> Whoa, that is a d that is a big fucking leap. In uh, like, whoa, Ryuji, that came out of fucking nowhere. Your imagination has run rampant. Y yeah, Makoto, that. How foolish. <laughs> you scary. <laughs> he looks so disappointed in him. Still, this is delicious. I've never experienced anything quite like it before. Man, and it's all thanks to us being the fan of this. Why would you? Oh, fuck. Uh, um, the fan, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Y yeah, the fish is so fresh. How? Look, how does it take us as long as it takes us to actually get caught with shit like this? Everywhere we go, we hear about these phantom thieves. What rubbish? Think about where we are, Ryuji. Sorry, it just kind of slipped. My apologies for bringing up Boss again. We should just enjoy the food. <laughs> and we should also worry about, you know, Ryuji's fucking slipping up and causing us everyone to know our identities and being arrested and so on, you know, like, fuck's sake. Ah! What are you doing here? A catchy. That's exactly what I fucking thought. You're the ones from the TV station. Could it be that you're friends of Nijima-san? Do you know this guy? It's nice to meet you. My name is Akechi. Glad to make your acquaintance, Yusuke Kagawa. Fuck off. How do you know my name? Well, because I'm a psychic, of course. <laughs> I'm only joking. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny, Akechi. It's so hilarious. So funny, Akechi. Oh my god. I have actually just recently joined the investigation team looking into the Phantom Thieves. I really don't like Akechi. Did you see that Mejed has declared war on them? War? Their website was updated just a moment ago. For real? 
Ah, English again. <laughs> Wait, what? What's it say? Huh. Why do you seem so agitated? Oh, um. She's uh, a huge fan of the Phantom Thieves. Yeah, a total nut job for him. <laughs> hmm. I don't know how wise it is to be a fan of groups like them. I don't know why you don't you why don't you fucking I don't know why you don't shut your fucking Dylan and Cole Sprouse looking ass up a catchy fuck off. What is with these comments? Exactly. My apology, prosecutor. Ah shit, my bad. I'm just gonna <laughs> my apologies. I didn't mean to butt into your conversation, but I must say this isn't Yeah yeah yeah, shut the fuck up. Pupil of Matarame and a few Shujin Academy students. It seems you're all connected to the Phantom Thieves. Perhaps you have better intel than I do. Uh... Ah, yes. I wanted to ask you something. Oh no. <laughs> He's uh... Regarding this whole Mejed commotion. If you were one of the Phantom Thieves, what would you do? I don't care. Unsurprising. I suppose you aren't interested in such gossip. Sorry to disappoint, but we're just normal high school kids. If anything, we want to hear what you got to say, Mr. Detective. My Thank you. Fucking turning it on him. They are a group of juveniles. Uh huh. They yeah, yeah. Of free time after school and a hideout to slip away to. Furthermore, considering Kamashita was their first target, it seems they began activity around April. Oh no. In a way, all I've just said about the Phantom Thieves coincides with the group you have here. Uh... What? You gonna report us? I didn't say I was being suspicious of you. You 100% did! Fuck off! <laughs> Good to hear, I guess. <laughs> it seems you're not perturbed in the slightest. You really are an intriguing one. Fuck off. I lack your calm mannerisms, but don't you think my deduction is an interesting one? Nope, I wish I could respond and say no. Great team if we work together. <laughs> Please fuck off. What the hell are you saying? I'm curious to hear what you have to say. You seem to be a wealth of information. In return, I'll teach you how to make deductions. No, 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 confidant, no, no, no. Uh, I fucking hate Akechi. Well, this has been a valuable point of reference for me. I hope to see you all again. Please fuck off. Ascertained our true identities? Nah, couldn't be. Right? I'd like to say that it's simply us overthinking this, but maybe best to be cautious from now on. We shouldn't forget that Alibaba was able to discover who we are. That is a fair point. But it's not as though we had tangible evidence to prove that discovery. Just keep acting normally. More importantly, things are getting serious with Majed. Oh yeah, what did they write? Oh no. Here, I'll read it. We are disappointed in the people of Japan and their belief in the Phantom Thieves' false justice. Hence, we shall proceed with our plan to cleanse Japan. This process will commence on August 21st. Oh dear. As a result, the Japanese economy shall suffer devastating damages. What? For real? Keep going. However, we are magnanimous. We will give the Phantom Thieves one final opportunity to repent. As proof of this repentance, we demand that they reveal their identities to the public. What the fuck? We will attack if these demands remain unmet. The future of Japan rests with the Phantom Thieves. What the hell, man? We are Majed. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. That's what it says. Sounds bad. Sounds real fucking bad. Jesus Christ. In other words, if we don't unmask ourselves, Majed will attack Japan, correct? 
It seems they are quite the attention seekers. <laughs> what are we gonna do about this? Only we could get in contact with Alibaba. Our only clues are Boss and Futaba. Anyways, it's too damn hot out here. Why don't we go to Leblon? We can talk more over there. Oh man. Shit's getting real fucking interesting. Oh boy. We went through all sorts of options on our way here, but looks like we got no choice but to ask for Alibaba's help. Fuck. Question is, how do we get in touch with him? Yeah, that's like a really big problem actually. He cut off all contact with us after that misunderstanding. Then again, if we manage to steal Futaba's heart, he may attempt to reach out to us once more. But we don't have any clues on what her keywords are. Damn it, Alibaba! Where the hell are you? Actually, hmm. He may be closer than we think. What? Huh? Hypothetically speaking, even if we stole Futaba's heart, how would Alibaba know that the deed has been done? Wait. <laughs> that is a fair point. Would he truly be able to discern that just from cell phone messages? You mean he'd have to meet her in person? Alibaba was able to deliver the calling card here. On top of that, he can check on Futaba's condition. However, according to the circumstances he put forth, he's unable to meet with us. This leads me to believe that it would be bad for him if we were to see the two of them together. It seems to me, Alibaba may in fact be Futaba herself. Oh, I thought you were going to say Alibaba is Sujiro, to be honest. For real? How many times have you said for real today, Ryuji? Fuck, like, Jesus Christ. So she's asking that we steal her own heart? she wants us to save her from the scars of her abuse. That would be hard to ask directly. I'd like to meet with Boss. He lives nearby, right? Uh... Will this be okay? <laughs> like, seriously. Don't ask anything that will get you thrown out. I agree. It's real late, though. What are we gonna tell Boss when we get there? We'll say this takeout sushi is a gift for him. I guess that works. Fuck off, Morgana. <laughs> no complaining. Let's all go together. Boss may get the wrong idea if he and I show up alone. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh boy. Hmm. Nobody is answering. But the lights are on. Come on. Think he's napping? Even Boss would have woken up with how many times we've rung this doorbell. I would think Futaba would have answered by now if she was here too. Hey. Ah, the gate's unlocked. Dude, you can't go opening other people's stuff like that. Hey. But look, the door seems to be slightly open as well. I wonder why. That's rather clueless. Or not clueless, careless, my bad. Very big difference. Oh, it sounds like it's going to rain. We should get inside. Do you think that's okay? I don't. I really don't, but whatever. Whatever. Oh, guys, you're gonna get me in so much fucking trouble. Oh, no. I don't know. Head is open, and I can hear the TV. Hope he didn't pass out or something. I mean, boss is kind of old, ain't he? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit worried. Should we go in and check on him? Please excuse us. <laughs> uh huh. Ah! Ah! Scream! What was that? 
How should I know? <laughs> Okay, sure. Could it be Alibaba? I mean, Futaba? Uh, sorry, um, can I hold your hand? <laughs> I can't take this line seriously because I remember seeing a fucking meme someone did where they replaced can I hold your hand with can I end racism so I just can't fucking take this seriously I'm sorry <laughs> fucking oh boy I can sense someone's presence. is this a fucking horror movie or something Could be it's so over dramatic. <laughs> she runs really fast. <laughs> Not gonna go very well for me now, is it? You? What are you doing in my house? Uh, You're. Oh, uh, good, good evening, sir. Uh, we, uh, we didn't mean to intrude. Nijima-san. Wait, are, are you two dating? <laughs> Friends nowadays get that close to each other? <laughs> but that's not it. This, um, uh, things happened and... Oh my god. You kids are here too? I'm glad he's not mad. Oh, we brought you some sushi, but nobody answered when we rang the bell. The door was unlocked too. We could hear the TV though, so we got worried he might have passed out or something. The door was unlocked? Yes. <sighs> do that sometimes. I'm very relieved that that he's not pissed. Um, excuse me. There's something we'd like to ask. Oh no. Huh? You want to ask me? There's someone else living here. Isn't there? Uh, why'd you do that? <laughs> Okay, he's... My daughter. Okay, yeah, Futaba is his daughter, that's... Oh no. <laughs> Could she be Futaba Sakura? Why would you... <laughs> you told Nijima-san too? Uh, um, is there any way we could meet with Futaba-san? I think we may have frightened her earlier, so we'd like to apologize if at all possible. That sounds moderately convincing. Thank you, Makoto. Well, uh, that's... Is she sick? No, it's not like that. I don't want you all getting the wrong idea. I shouldn't have kept this a secret from you. Let's talk at my shop. She'll hear us if we stay here. I mean, she'll hear us there regardless, I'm pretty sure, but whatever. <clears throat> Seriously, though, how the fuck did she run as fast as she did? Like, that's... 
That's scary. <laughs> no. Where do I start? Oh boy. Futaba's mother and I knew each other long before Futaba was born. Her mother was a bit of a weird one, but we got along well for some reason. She was sharp-witted, somewhat stern, a little socially inept, but always carefree. She truly was a great woman. <laughs> I see. All right. When something piqued her interest, that'd be all she focused on. She always worked deep into the night. I thought that had changed after her kid was born. But having Futaba didn't do much. Even with that, she always took good care of her. Working and watching over a child at the same time sounds rough. I guess raising Futaba alone turned out to be tough on her in more ways than one. What about her father? <laughs> there wasn't a father. What? Do you mean... What? Well, there probably was one. I didn't know him, though. She never said a word about him, either. Oh. What? She was single when she gave birth to Futaba, and single when she raised her. Oh, that's... Fuck, okay. They were an ordinary, loving family. You could really tell how much she cared for Futaba. One day, she left, leaving Futaba behind. She left? Yes. She committed suicide. Jesus Christ! Oh my- Okay, then. Suicide? That caught me off guard. What the fuck? Holy shit. Threw herself into the street. Right in front of Futaba's eyes. Oh my god! Shocking doesn't begin to describe that. What the fuck? It's gotta be devastating for a kid. Yo, that's fucking crazy. What the fuck? So Well, a lot happened after that, but I ended up taking custody of Futaba. First, she was so depressed she she wouldn't even talk to me. Was that because she couldn't get over her mother's suicide? Probably, yes. I kept talking to her, though, and she started opening up to me, little by little. And that's when I found out. Utaba blames herself for her mother's death. Oh, no! That's terrible! What? But why? That part, she's never told me. I wanted to know what led her to believing that. But I decided not to rub salt in the wound. Yeah, that's cl that's that's smart. I mean, look, look at Sojiro. He's a fucking kind, caring man. I I respect Sojiro. I knew he I knew he wasn't up to no shady business. Then, a few months ago, she started getting real scared, even when nothing was happening. Huh? She'd say things like, "I hear voices," and "Mom is looking at me." Oh dear. Visual and auditory hallucinations. Have you taken Futaba to a doctor? I wanted to, but she refused. Even when I had a doctor come, she locked herself away in the room. Since then, she's become what you'd call a shut-in. She won't take a single step outside the house, or even try to see other people. What about you? She doesn't even let me come in her room. Harsh. Futaba is, well, a unique girl. She's so quick-minded that conversations with her tend to jump from one topic to the next. It seems like she's always coming to conclusions in her head. There's a lot I don't get about her. Hmm. So, yeah, her situation is why I couldn't let you in my house. Eh, don't worry about it. Thanks. What Futaba needs is a safe place where nobody will threaten her. Somewhere she can be at ease. That's why I won't do anything she doesn't want. I don't make her do anything she's unwilling to either. And again, I know that's no way for her to live. It's all I can do, though. Well, fuck, that is... That's... Oh my god. <laughs> This is sad as fuck. Um, 
<laughs> what does Futaba want? I don't know. She just asks me for things that she wants, like food or these complicated books. Well, that's that. So, can you just leave her be? I'm gonna head back then. You all had better head home soon, too. I feel awful for prying into his personal affairs. No way in hell he's abusing her. Good. See, I told you. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. I mean, we do need clues, so... Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? <laughs> Oh dear. Yes it is. What the She's got one. So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. Where's Morgana? I haven't seen him for some time. So ever since we went inside Boss's house? Somewhere around there. He'll be fine though. He's a cat after all. The trains are going to be shutting down for the night soon, so we should probably be heading home. Hmm. Go to school in the morning after all. Oh, right. The urgent assembly. An assembly? What about? Shujin has been garnering a lot of attention ever since Medjet called out the Phantom Thieves. So, they need to remind us not to say arbitrary stuff online and add more fuel to the fire. Oh boy, wonderful. We gotta meet up for every goddamn little thing. <sighs> Talk about a pain in the ass. I mean, it is our fault. Anyway, let's contact each other afterward. Where is Morgana though? <laughs> like seriously. Oh. No way in hell he's abusing her. Oh dear. Yep, I knew she would be listening. Like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. She got a nice keyboard. Uh, hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there he is. Wait, how, how did he get it? What? How did he get in the... What? How? I'm actually confused, but... Alright, <laughs> where'd more gotta go? <laughs> Alright, everybody. So, if you have enjoyed this part of my Persona 5 series, be sure to drop a like as well as a comment. Be sure to subscribe if you're really feeling it. And I shall see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Oh.